What's the real cost of digital transformation? Well, it's very difficult because when you tell people, do you want to be, do you want to transform digital, uh, digitally? Do you want to win in this space? And everybody says, yes, yes, please, I want to. And then when you tell them what they have to do and how things have to change and you start kind of trying to break some of the sacred cows, then it becomes really difficult. Yeah, I mean, what we've been trying to do and are doing is it's a national movement. If you really want to change the behaviour, particularly for older people, someone who's entirely trusted, who goes into their home and advises and guides them, they were the people who ultimately got them to make the, the, the switch to, to digital television. How do you enable digital transformation to happen and break down those silos? I, I remember the first week or two when they were starting to come out, it shocked the life out of me because we were 23% of the sales. I thought, oh my God, we're a little pimple on the side of what uh, the wow. branch network is doing and telephony is doing. Um, so over three and a half years, we transformed that from 23 to 60% alongside what Barclays was. So we trebled it in three years. Yes, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I say it myself. <laughs> not a competition. <laughs> <laughs> not, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> What's fascinating about the programmatic space is that it's the closest thing that we've got to the economics 101 uh, perfect competition model, which has all kinds of fascinating implications in terms of um, uh, how you can target people and how personalised advertising can become. <laughs>